A lot of people go to the beach to get away from their problems and just relax in the sun. Us, we got to go on a business trip down to Daytona Beach, Florida. We're taking on the Bethune Cutman Wildcats, a team that has given us hell throughout this series and especially at home. There are one and three coming into this game. We are now on a 23 game winning streak and we're forward on the season ranked in the top five right now. What a season has been for this offense though. Just lights out. Trey Tyler has been amazing the last three games after that rocky start versus Georgia Tech. We did win that game though. But the offense as a whole has been absolutely phenomenal. Leon Henderson holding down the fort. Trey Tyler holding down the fort at quarterback. And our wide receivers are absolutely crazy. We have one of the best wide receiver cores in the nation. There's no question about that. We have three of them that could be at least, but letting the Coffer Wolf finding this by the end of the season. Now, we don't expect nothing different from Bethune Cutman. They're going to stay true to character. They're going to live and die by the power option run. T bone offense, wishbone offense, flex bone offense, it doesn't matter. If it's a run style, please believe Bethune Cutman's going to do it. And being profiled for this game is Brad Anderson. Rocky start to the season for him so far. Last week, he got beat on two big plays. He's been suspended for one game so far this season, and he's yet to catch an interception. So here goes Adam McCray for his last season in college, 87 overall, balanced quarterback. George Carter's back, first team all Mac, well, swag. They have a right tackle that's out for the season. Kelvin Washington is a first team all swag player. Then they have this guy, Maurice Smith. He's out for this game. Shannon Childs is back as an impact player. And then they also have an impact player at Strong Safety, who I got, who I forgot the profile, excuse me. So we're looking to kick this game off fast. This team loves to run the rock, meaning they love clock management. They love eating up clock with that option run. So we're going to give the ball off right here to Leon Henderson. He breaks a tackle and gets past the 40 yard line for a first down. First and 10 at the 43. There goes Trey Tyler rolling out to the right. And that pass is caught by Scott Jordan, the 6'10 feet. I'm out of Idaho. Second and 10. Now the handoff to Leon Henderson. He goes up the right side. He breaks a tackle and he gets past that first down marker. The Hornets are still moving. Second and eight. Trey Tyler rolling out to the left. Trey Tyler looking for Ryan Thompson and he makes the catch in the number one jersey. Comes up big yet again. At the 18 of Bethune Cookman, look at this pass right here. A dot to Scott Jordan. Oh, look at that. Did you see that? Did you see that? Touchdown Alabama State. The 16 Phenom has been in the weight room. Dragging one defender and running over another one. What a play by Scott Jordan, the sophomore out of Idaho. And the Hornets are up 7 to nothing. Look at the handoff right here, though. Bethune Cookman, there goes Rivera. Rivera straight cooked us in season four. Will that happen again today? There he goes again this time getting stripped by Blake Clayton. But they jump on the ball and they get the first down. Our defense is never on alert when the ball is loose. So here they go again. A hand up to George Carter and he gets nowhere. Taken down by Daniel Hayes. So here goes. There goes Hunter. The other fullback. He goes nowhere. It's a 37 situation at their own 33. Look at Hines. The pitch. George Carter dies for that first down. Wow. First and 10 now. There goes another end around play to George Carter and Robert Boyd is not having it. He's not being fooled on that play. Third and 11. There goes Adam McCray. He dodges a sack, gets the ball off, and that pass is caught by Hines. And he gets into the red zone just like that. A great catch that was by Hines. So second and 10 now. It's a screen pass. He finds Metley. He gets away from Brad Anderson. And he dies in the end zone for a touchdown. As the quarter comes to an end, first quarter that is, is tied at seven. Alabama State has to figure something out on defense because they should have been off the field. But look at Leon Henderson, though, muscling his way for that first down. At the 26-yard line, a screen pass to Don Robbie Smith. Gets the first down and more. He got popped, but he gets the first down. Second and 10 situation now. Trey Tyler rolling out and looking for Scott Jordan up the middle. He made that beautiful catch. Second and eight, half back to Red to Shane Harris, the fastest running back on this team. He gets the first down and recruits it in the red zone. Trey Tyler this time rolling out to the right. He pops it in the end zone for Ryan Thompson. Wait a minute, that should have been a face mask. What's the face mask cost? It doesn't matter, touchdown Alabama State. 
Another touchdown pass for Trey Tyler. That's two on the day already. And look at Robert Boyd. Delivering the heat. Delivering the heat. Baptizing McCray with the holy water. And now the defense is looking to get off the field. 30-10 situation. McCray steps back to pass. Instead, he runs it. Can we get off the field? No, we cannot. Adam McCray uses his legs to get the first down. A 36 situation now. McCray finds George Carter out the backfield and Josh Six took him down right before he could get to the first down marker. We got the ball back. There goes Trey Tyler rolling out. Pops into the middle. It's caught by Henry Ortiz, the number one tight end out of high school. He gets taken down by the face mask. Tack on 15, and we're going to keep this thing rolling. So now we got first and 10 at the 20-yard line. A play fake. This time we're looking for Don Robinson deep in the end zone, and that pass didn't get to him. I couldn't tell if it was dropped or he overthrew it. So we're going to hand it off to Leon Henderson, the big hill. Gets inside the 10-yard line and tackled at the 5. First and goal situation now. The handoff to Leon Henderson. They take him down in the backfield. So we got second and goal. We're rolling out to the left. We got two seconds left in the game. I'm not even paying attention to the clock. So we decide to take the three points before the half is over. The kick is up and the kick is good. Alabama State is up by 10 after the first half. But Thorne Cookman ate up a lot of clock in the first half. So we got to get off the field faster on defense. So a second and 11 situation. Look at this. Look at Matley catching that ball on the slant. And Brad Anderson had to chase him down. Brad Anderson got beat again. So there goes George Carter and William Dorsey's not having it. He's not being fooled by these plays anymore. Second and long situation, there goes Rivera. This time Blake Clayton couldn't strip him. That's a good game by Carter. Third and five situation now. This time it's a play fake. Leon Hill missed on a sack, but that's okay. There goes Vincent deflecting that pass away. So they decide to go for a 51 yarder. The kick is up and he makes it. And now the lead is down to seven. 17-10, Hornets on top. There goes the big L, Leon Henderson. Flicking breaks a tackle, gets to the first down marker, and gets tackled around the 35. This time we're looking to go deep, play fake. We're looking for Scott Jordan, and look at that dot. Scott Jordan got away for the DP, past the 20. He gets tackled around the 10. What a play by the 16 Phenom. Screen pass to Don Robbie, past the 10 inside the 5. He didn't get to the power line though. So second and goal. We're gonna do an in around the Bob Smith with Don Robbie Smith. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama State. Another touchdown run for Don Robbie. 24 to 10. The Hornets are on top. And look at that tackle by William Dorsey. He's not playing around no more with these cats. So there goes George Carter. He tried to get the pitch off, but he couldn't. So third and eight at their own 22. There goes a toss to Hines, and Vince is not letting him go anywhere. Another tackle for loss. We got the ball back at second and 10. There goes Scott Jordan making the catch. Gets near the 50-yard line, first and 10 for the Hornets. We're at midfield now. The big L, Leon Henderson, tries to find a crease up the right side, but he gets nowhere, gain of three. So there goes a the play fake. Trey Tyler looking up the middle for Ryan Thompson. He made the catch. We had Robbie Smith wide open on the left side. So this time it's a high snap. Trey Tyler is going to look for Don Robbie. And he makes the catch inside the 10. He's tackled around the six-yard line. Well, at the seven, we hand it off to Leon Henderson. And the big air cruises into the end zone for another Alabama State touchdown. And that's how the third quarter ends. We're up 31 to 10. Straight smoking on that Wildcat pack. We're going into the fourth quarter. Third and long situation for Pathone Cutman. Look at McCray try to take off. But he gets set. There goes Blake Koch. Another week with a sack for Blake Koch. This time Trey Tyler's looking deep for Don Robbie Smith and he made the catch. What a catch by Don Robbie. Out there looking like Randy Moss from back in the day. Touchdown Alabama State. What a play by Don Robbie. Look at that beautiful pass by Trey Tyler. Throwing absolute dots all season so far. This time we're back on offense. But Thun Cookman's dead on offense. And look at Scott Jordan. Look at that move, making a man miss and going to the crib for his second touchdown catch of the day. The 16 phenom is phenomenal. So, once again, but though Cutman's dead on offense. Ryan Thompson makes a man miss and goes up the right side in the Wildcat territory. He didn't get much on that play though, but a good return. So a play fake, and this time Trey Tyler gets set. That time is Seth Johnson. So a second and 16 situation. We roll out to the left. Trey Tyler looking for Ron Thompson. He makes the catch. And he gets tackled inside the red zone once again. 
We back. 18 yard line screen pass. Rob, well done. Robbie tries to break that tackle. He did, but didn't get to the first down mark. 35 situation now. We're rolling out to the left. We're looking for Don Robbie in the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama State. Double thumb cup and Wildcat fans have seen enough. They're gone. They're done. They're out of here. So the Alabama State defense had the second string in the game and look at Davis. By the way, Bethune Cooper put their second string in the game too at this point. And Davis took that thing all the way to the crib. We have no speed in our backups right now. We got to work on that. So the onside kick comes. That's a terrible onside kick. We eventually recover it. We decide to take it out of bounds with Josh Jones. And that's a wrap, people. The Alabama State Hornets are now 5-0 on the season. We put the Wildcats in the spliff, and we straight smoke them to oblivion. But don't cut me to just too prehistoric with their gameplay. This is one of the reasons why I regret turning off the coaching contracts. Because as you change coaches, you change philosophies. I don't know if that still happens now, though. But I think that only applies to us, since we're the user player. So let's look at the stats. Trey Tyler did it again. Five touchdown passes and over 400 yards and a career high, 77% completions. Wow. For the first time since season two, we don't have a player that rushed for 100 yards in the game. Last time we did that was in season two versus Maryland in that bowl game. Justin Chambers, I believe, had 91 yards rushing. This receiver core is absolutely phenomenal. Richard Ryan Thompson, I'm about to say Richard, I'm tweaking. Ryan Thompson had a great game. Scott Jordan had a career high, 176 on six receptions, two touchdowns. Don Robbie Smith, three total touchdowns, two in the air, one on the ground. Henry Ortiz made a great catch. What a performance by this wide receiver core. We're going to do more with Henry Ortiz. I want to put him in the slot in some formations because we can do way more with him. With that 6'9", uh, 225 frame, Yes, sir. -y. So the defense was absolutely amazing, minus the fact that we gave up a couple of touchdowns. But hey, we five and zero, and we're gonna keep it moving. Thank you for watching. Peace.